Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your psychic and tarot readings for the rest of February 2017. So that's covering the 20th till the 28th of February 2017. Um, because I was traveling earlier in the month and then I had some health issues, um, I haven't been able to post to my regular schedule, um, but hopefully we'll be back on track for March. Um, so we will be using the Spiral Tarot deck uh, and doing a modified Celtic Cross here for the uh, tarot portion and then the Psychic Oracle cards uh, for the Psychic Messages uh, in the second part of the reading. Okay, so uh, please remember that these are general readings so they may not apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. Um, make sure to watch your moon and rising sign readings to get additional insight that may resonate better with you. And of course, keep in mind for the messages that come through. Uh, they may apply exactly as they come through. They may apply uh, a little bit differently. So an open mind is always um, required. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for joining me and thank you very much for all your support. Uh, if you're interested in private readings, all the links you need are in the description box below. So let's just jump in. I hope you enjoy your readings and that you have a wonderful uh, rest of the month. Hi Virgo, uh, thank you for joining me. Welcome to your reading. Uh, let's jump in and see what's coming up for you. Okay, what's going on? So at the bottom of the deck as your overall energy, we have the Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords here, um, I feel that you know this, this could represent feeling stuck for some of you. Uh, I feel that you uh, may be experiencing some restrictions, um, like your hands are tied in a situation. For some of you, this feels like um, something to do with your health, where you physically can't do everything that you would like to do. Maybe you're dealing with some sort of an illness or a flu or a cold or um, anything that you know it, it, you're just not feeling right and so you feel like your hands are tied with uh, all the other plans you had. Um, for others of you, this could be feeling limited uh, maybe with what you want to do with work or your creative plans, okay, with your projects. Um, and it could be because you don't have all the information uh, or because you know you feel like you don't have all, um, enough money to do that or you don't have enough resources, whatever resources you need, I feel like you know you may be thinking I don't have enough. Um, the thing with the Eight of Swords is things are not as bad as they seem. You're overanalyzing things is what makes it worse. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, this is um, this is happening in our own heads, okay, with the Eight of Swords. So things are not as bad as they seem. It could be uh, that things are exaggerated under the energy of the Eight of Swords. Uh, maybe you don't feel as, as uh, maybe you're not as restricted as you may think. Okay, the Eight of Swords is a card that asks us to take off the blindfold, uh, to be realistic, to see things for what they are, and then see the options that we do have, see the resources that are available to, to us, okay? Because the Eight of Swords is an energy where um, this is in our heads, and so we just take that to be the truth. We think about it as if it's true, and so we stop even you know looking for options or looking for solutions because we're so convinced that there are there are none um, but it's in our own heads we're not seeing things clearly so it's something to be mindful of here okay and you could also be looking at not seeing things clearly because maybe uh, a treatment that you're on or uh, not sleeping properly also comes up here not resting properly and so that clouds your judgment you're feeling groggy all the time you can't think straight um, in your current situation, we have uh, the Devil card. So again, with the Devil energy, um, this could be feeling like you're on a leash, feeling like you're limited, feeling like uh, you're um, you're not allowed to do certain things. Okay, feeling controlled, restricted, limited. Um, with the Devil here, the Devil also represents going overboard with something. Um, so again, your mind playing tricks on you. I feel. This can be an actual person restricting you here. It can be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, and this person may be someone you work with, 
someone around you, someone in the family, um, and they are preventing you from doing what you want to do. So they may be creating uh, obstacles for you, but the thing is, it's not as bad as it seems, okay, or it's not as bad as they may be making it, making it out to be. Um, I feel like this person may be, you know, psyching you out of things or planting things in your in your head and then you take them to be true and you start worrying about them. So this is kind of an unhealthy situation. Um, and again, it can be because of going overboard with something, either overworking and you're not getting enough rest, uh, overspending and now you find that, hold on, I don't have any money, what do I do with all my money? Um, this is focusing on everything and everyone else but yourself and before you know it you're not feeling right you're not feeling well and you know there's no one there to help you so it's just tricky situations with the devil um going overboard and dealing with illusions and delusions also comes up here okay so just be realistic research get your facts straight um and you'll see that things are not as bad as they seem initially, okay? And be careful who you listen to. Um, if someone's telling you, no, you can absolutely, uh, you cannot do this, get a second opinion, okay? Ask around, do more more digging, um, because I feel like maybe you shouldn't take what this person tells you at face value. Um, in the foundation, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. I skipped the crossing card. The crossing card over the devil is the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is this energy of feeling discontent, bored, unhappy, stuck, like nothing's going on, like nothing's going the right way. Uh, you're not getting anything that you want. Uh, you keep waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing's happening, okay? But this is your um, emotions getting the best of you and playing tricks on you, okay? Because actually, you do have that Ace of Cups right behind you. But it's what you're looking at here, what you're focusing on here, that is making you feel the way you do because if you just turned around and saw that ace of cups you could you would be happy you'd be excited you'd have something new to focus on and something new to do that makes you very happy so focus once again is what's going to help you or hinder you so in the foundation we do have the ace of cups um and with the uh sorry ace of pentacles so with the foundation the ace of cups okay that is your emotions getting the best of you that's what that means okay be careful who you trust, be careful um, who you place your um, your trust in and who you listen to and um, of your emotions getting the best of you or someone playing on your emotions to get to you, okay? Uh, so with these pentacles in the foundation, this is um, a new opportunity for security, for stability, a new way of making money, a new job, uh, a new home, a new relationship that is solid, healthy, and with long-term potential, uh, a new beginning with your health, okay, is what these pentacles could also talk about here. And so this is what you've been working towards, and this could be what you feel is blocked, okay? However, once again, it's not as bad as it seems. Things are not what they seem to be. Get a second opinion do some research definitely don't take things at face value um especially if they're discouraging because things are not what they seem to be where you choose to place your focus what you choose to look at to trust uh or who you choose to trust uh, is really going to make all the difference uh, between you feeling stuck unhappy and afraid and limited and restricted uh, and you feeling like you know what i i have options i can do this and just making progress with what you're focusing on, okay? In the recent past, we have the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords feels like your energy for some of you, okay? This is just just going, not stopping to think about what you're doing, not being mindful of the consequences, not thinking about things long, uh, long term. It's just go, go, go. So again, just kind of going overboard. Um, with what you were focused on at that time and this is what has gotten you to the point where now because you've been going from one extreme to the other uh, you're experiencing some difficulties um the knight of swords can also represent um a difficult encounter uh things that are said in the heat of the moment um this could be a stubborn person that you're dealing with this could be a jealous person that you're dealing with maybe an air sign gemini libra or aquarius 
um, and this person could be the person trying to hold you back now this person could be um, setting you up for disappointment okay because they're not happy with your potential okay maybe they're jealous of your potential or they're jealous of what you're trying to accomplish or they're jealous of just who you are and what you're doing um, so again it's just about being mindful okay about who you trust and again it's slow down <laughs> slow down and be mindful of your health in your crowning thoughts we have the hierophant so with the hierophant here this can represent a Taurus person um, but it is family okay focus on family thinking about uh, the old way of doing things the proper way of doing things thinking about tradition um, it can also represent you know you focusing on uh, new options new opportunities working your way towards you know walking through new doors um, the hierophant also represents something that is official something that is uh, a formal setting uh, maybe you're preparing to talk to someone in a uh, financial in institution, institution sorry, or a government institution um, to apply for something. Um, and maybe this person here is trying to hold you back from that because they see that you have a good shot at getting what you're asking for. And so they're telling you, oh, no, it's convoluted. It's complicated. Uh, it's going to take forever. Um, I wouldn't even get started. Okay, so for some of you, that's what's going on here. For those of you... I feel like this is to do with a teaching role or a teaching position. Maybe you're a teacher and you're out of your job now. You're, you can't work properly because you're not feeling right. Um, or you feel like you can't do your job. You can't do what you're expected to do because of all these complications. And that's where the restrictions come from. But the Hierophant also talks about uh, talking to someone who can give you guidance. Okay, so it's about talking to someone you trust, either an elder in your family or a counselor or therapist of sorts. Um, and they can help clarify things. They can help you take off the blindfold and see things for what they are. Don't put so much pressure on yourself uh, and don't feel like everyone else is putting pressure on you um, because that could also be something that is keeping you in this vicious cycle of not doing something properly when it comes to you and your health because you feel like um, you have to go back and you have to just get the work done or you have to do what you're expected to do, okay? In the outcome position, we do have the tower. So with the tower here, um, I feel like for some of you this is breakthrough and for some of you it could be breakdown. Um, be mindful, okay? It doesn't have to be bad. Remember, it's important the way you look at things is key here. The way you focus on things is key. Who you choose to focus on, who you choose to trust here, okay? Because you can have a breakthrough and break out of this illusion, okay, that this devil energy has created for you. And you can break out of that. You can break free from that. And just go back to you and doing things the way you want them to and walking your own path and just removing all this murky energy from your life and for some of you i feel like that is what's going on because you are taking the guidance here and for others i feel like this can be unnecessary arguments um it's the kind of energy where someone's telling you about some gossip or some rumors or whatever and um you feel like you need to go and defend yourself and you can start an argument and the other person doesn't know what you're talking about because this guy lied here, okay? Guy or woman. So the tower is also, it's, it's unstable energy. Um, things happening suddenly, uh, surprises happening or things taking you by surprise. Um, and it's how we react to a situation that makes it good or bad. Okay, so as long as you keep your reactions uh, positive or calm and constructive, um, this is going to be a good thing because it will the tower will remove whatever this complicated, convoluted situation is here and remove illusion and delusion from your life so you can get back on track and stop feeling restricted. Or uh, if you allow yourself to kind of get lost in whatever weave this devil energy is trying to um, get you stuck in, then the tower can represent feeling unstable, feeling unsure, um, hearing news that kind of throws you back, okay? Um, and you don't know how to react to it. It's getting your emotions all hyped up, okay? I feel like what this person is doing, it, they're playing on your emotions. 
So just take that into account. Be mindful of that and make this tower be a breakthrough and uh, a clean slate when it comes to this murky energy, heavy energy, um, as opposed to it being something more negative than it needs to be, okay? Don't worry, don't freak out. You know, this is uh, a general reading, so it's not gonna apply to everyone. Uh, or only bits and pieces may apply to you. Um, definitely watch your moon and rising sign readings to add to the messages that may apply to you. Um, it's just a cautionary tale here to be mindful of your emotions. And you may be in an altered state of mind, maybe because of uh, a treatment, maybe because you're not sleeping properly, maybe because someone's playing on your emotions. Uh, maybe, you know, the, the stress is too much or you're putting too much pressure on yourself, whatever the case may be. And so it's just a cautionary tale in terms of adjust your approach and what you're focusing on um, because you can have a happy outcome out of it, okay? <clears throat> Let's look at your psychic messages. So we do have the card of nurture. So with this energy, for some of you, um, you need to nurture yourself with this energy here, okay? You need to nurture yourself. Take time to um, work on your health. Your health is important, okay? Your health is important for a lot of you. Um, and you are a Virgo. I'm a Virgo Moose, so I, I, I know, you know, uh, how we think. And I know we like to uh, do our job and we know what people expect of us and so on and so forth. And we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. However, this is the time to Put that aside and to focus on your health okay your health alone is really important during this time um for some of you spending time outside spending time outdoors spending time in nature will provide answers with this energy for this i feel like you may be um, either getting a plant, uh, getting a pet comes up for those of you with this energy here. And I feel like that's going to be a good move. That's going to be uh, something healthy for you to do. I do see positive results or happy results, okay, if you're worried about your health and you're going to see what's going on and do some tests and everything. Uh, I do see things being uh, either okay or minor or there's definitely something you can do to fix the situation uh, easily or quickly if you stick to the treatment and I feel like that's going to make you very, very happy. Like for some of you, you may be asked to um, take care of either someone's children for a little while or uh, even a pet while, uh, they're, um, while they're away, they're going to ask you to take care of their pet or even just to go in and water someone's plants while they're away uh, or house sit also comes up here. For some of you, um, I'm seeing either a sunroom or using solar energy, getting sun panels or um, whatever they're called. Also come up here. I feel like you're going to be able to uh, feel like yourself again, but you do need some time off. Um, I'm seeing either dancing or aerobics come up as a stress relief tool for some of you.
Maybe starting yoga for those of you. Um, for those of you, I feel like you may find um, that either you or someone close to you has an allergy to um, a plant or a flower during this time. Flying comes up so you may be flying out to take care of someone or they're flying in to come take care of you during this time. And um, for a lot of you, I do see, you know, placing a lot of pressure on yourself and a lot of stress that comes from that. And I see you just talking to, uh, to just one person, telling them what's going on, uh, and um, they're really going to put things in a new perspective for you. They're going to make you feel a lot better. And for those of you, you're allowing this person to help you. I feel like they uh, are going to have to insist that you do that. And so as soon as you help, as soon as you agree to let them help you, I feel like you're going to breathe a sigh of relief, and it's going to be like, a heavy weight lifted off your shoulders and it's just going to be one small thing that they do for you but just the feeling of you don't have to do everything yourself um, is going to do wonders for you really and this can be you know yes some sort of health issue or something stress related but it could also be to do with um, changes in the body, you know, that can be for pregnancy uh, related things or um, even menopause for some of you, uh, where something changes in the body and so things are a bit off for a little while uh, and you just need to give it time to take care of yourself and it's going to settle, settle itself, okay, it's going to sort itself out. And mother figure, mother figure, father figure are important during this time. Okay, so that's the ring that I have for you. I hope that it makes sense and that it helps. Um, I'm looking forward to your comments. Let me know uh, what you make of the reading, if it helps you, what the messages, um, what kind of bells they ring for, for you, if, um, if they're beneficial. Um, and, you know, thank you again for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful time ahead. And I will talk to you soon in the March videos. Take care.